Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life, and today I am super pumped about this video. This is the closet renovation slash makeover video. It is going to be part one because we are in the process of getting some replacements. We uh, messed up a few things. We also got a couple of things that were wrong as far as parts. So we are still in the process of getting the full closet done. So this is gonna be a part one. There will be a part two when we finish it off. And then there will also be a part three when we organize. I'm really, really excited to get this video series off because I have wanted to do this for so long, basically since we've moved into the house. It's been a year and a half and we finally did it. It took me a really long time to narrow down which closet system we were gonna go with, if we were gonna do a fully custom closet, like have somebody come in, design it out for us, map it out, and then install it for us. Or we also had the choice of going semi-custom, which is you plan it out yourself and then install it yourself. Or you could go completely 100% custom where you like measure everything, build everything, and we are just not to that level yet. So we decided to go semi-custom. We ended up using a company called Easy Closets, and they have a system where you can map out your exact dimensions, plan out every last little nook and cranny of your closet. And so I played around with that for a long time. I tried out a couple of other closet system planners, and I also looked at the IKEA PAX system, and I really love that system. I may use that system in here when we redo this room at some point, but I really just love their choices and customizability. So we did actually go with Easy Closets. It's a semi-custom thing. You plan it out using their program or you can give them your dimensions, tell them what you want and they will design it for you. I opted to do it my own way because I knew exactly what I wanted. I had this vision of exactly what I wanted and made it happen in the program. So for this, we ripped out actually just half of the closet. We didn't end up ripping out the whole thing. We ripped out two sides, wrapping around two corner areas. And then we also ripped out a little section to put a like a faux dresser built in, in the center of the closet. So when you're going and walking into the closet, that's the first thing you see. You see this faux dresser built in, and I just love the vision that is coming together right now. It's still in the works. As far as this video, it's not completely done, but you see the basic shell of everything and you see how it's going to be. And there's just a few minor tweaks left for the actual system itself. So before we get too far into the details and the nitty gritty of it, I wanna show you guys the before. We just had a basic builder grade closet. We are very fortunate that in Texas they do put your built-ins in, they are not wire shelving. So we did have that bit of upgrade and we really like the system that they put in as far as like the main portion of the closet but we found the side sections to be really limiting, especially when I started getting into fitness, I ended up having lots of sports bras, lots of leggings. I really just took over one side of the closet with all of my fitness stuff and it was just a mess. It was all in shambles. I knew we needed some sort of drawer system in the closet and that was one of the main reasons we did the closet in the first place. We needed more drawers. I also wanted to include more shelving because the shelving was just really high up and it was not very easily accessible. We had a couple of main goals for organizing the closet just right and I ended up mapping it out myself. Like I said, I took quite a few days just like planning it out, plotting it out exactly, like measuring everything and getting it just right before we ordered. By the way, I am testing out Apple Watch, so I've got two on right now. <laughs> I just noticed that I could probably see those. So I'm gonna show you a quick before so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So our master closet actually goes through our bathroom and it is a very rectangular style closet. So it's kind of easy to work with as far as planning it out. You can see there's this built-in shelf section, which we've been using with just bins. We've got the two side parts, which we need to get rid of. And that's the part we mainly focused on. I've got all of our swim gear in that little hanging down thing. We really don't need a whole lot of space for long things. So we didn't keep a whole lot of the long space and you can see this whole top area is just junk and clutter. It's not easily accessible, so I tend to put things up there and then forget about them. This is Johnny's side of the closet, and then I also took over this side. I've got lots of hanging stuff over here and giveaway stuff. I ended up putting a really big box in here and just filling it with clothes as I went along. And you can see this tiny pink bin, I'm freezing the frame, so you can see that's where I put my workout gear. I wash it separately, so it ends up being in this little basket and you can see there's no shelf for it to go on, so I just have a lid, it's just horrible. All this whole side is a horrible mess with all my hanging up clothes. I just have tons of workout gear. 
and nowhere really to put it. So it's just taking over this whole side of the closet and it was a monstrosity having the bras hooked up on the hangers, trying to get the one bra I want off was kind of a chore. And you can see, I just started piling them up because I ran out of hangers and then I didn't want to buy more knowing we were gonna do this project soon. And then as far as the actual closet system, I waited until they had a sale. They do run sales here and there. So I ended up getting 20 or 25% off. And then recently they had a sale that was also 20 or 25% off. You could definitely watch for sales and get things a little bit cheaper that way. I placed the order and then we waited and waited and waited. And eventually our closet system finally shipped. It did ship via freight. So it's on these big giant pallets. They're actually oversized, like double the size of regular pallets because some of the pieces are really long. You know, you're going all the way from the floor to the top um, area and they're really long. So we had one pallet that was an eight foot long pallet to hold those. It came on four pallets and it was 1200 pounds worth of closet. <laughs> Thankfully, they put them in our garage because it was kind of a rainy day. So he had it put in our garage and it took up an entire one car spot in our garage. And then we slowly but surely unloaded all the pallet stuff and loaded it into the house and it ended up taking up most of our dining room. It ended up taking up most of our master bedroom. It was just like closet boxes everywhere. <laughs> so our house is still kind of in shambles because we're not quite done with the process yet, but it was just stuff everywhere. So as we were waiting for the freight to get here, we started knocking out the old part of the closet. We knew we had to take off part of the sides, one whole wall basically, and then we knew we had to take off a couple of the shelves to get the faux uh, dresser in there. So that was a part we saved for later, but we knew the main sections we had to knock off and it was a process, guys. I feel kind of awesome, like being able to rip out stuff and really do a true renovation project. This is our first one. Um, so it just took a lot of uh, scoring all of the cock marks and using a lot of hammers and crowbars and prying everything off of the wall. All right, here's what we got, destruction. We've still got to scrape, caulk, repaint, but I don't think we have to actually do any drywall repair. And this top thing is gonna go over around here or so. So we'll put the hook somewhere over there and finish that off. It'll line up flush with the new system. There's destruction. We'll remove baseboards. This side, same thing. I was working on scraping some of that stuff off. He thinks we can cut this piece and leave most of it. And then we just have to cut down the rod and attach things and caulk around everything like this. <laughs> Gotta take all these pieces off. And here's what it looks like. I just finished spackling and painting. Actually, no, spackling, sanding, painting. We loaded all the stuff inside. It was on four giant pallets. So we had to take all of it inside and then we finished this job. So he ended up cutting this one. The closet's going to come to, I estimated about right here. So we'll have to trim this one to size and then we'll have a shelf there next to the closet with another rod for longer hanging stuff in the back. But it looks pretty decent. Like you can still see it, but it's going to be blocked with all of the pieces and shelving and things. So it'll still be in the very back, but it will be hidden. It looks pretty good. I don't know that the that the trim color is the exact same color. We'll have to see when it dries. But that is the trim color they gave us, so we're gonna go with it. It is not perfect. I notice you can see like where the outline of the things are because we didn't retexturize or anything. And also the paint's a little bit different. But I knew that the closet system was gonna be mainly blocking it and then we're gonna be stacking things inside the shelves on the closet system. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time patching it and making the wall look perfect when I knew that time would be better spent on other things. So we just, you know, we did a quick spackle and patch paint job and called that part done. And then we unloaded the closet and started building. <laughs> I'm gonna complain a little bit in this section. It was hard AF to build this closet. I know it's supposed to be an easy closet, but it is not easy. I feel like the directions were kind of all over the place. They weren't really super crystal clear about things. And the main problem I have is the stickers on each piece. We're not very clear about what each piece was for. 
So we really have to look at the exact dimensions on every single piece to make sure we're using the right piece. We're looking through all the bags of parts and we're talking a major project. So our bag of parts is a big box and we're like flipping through these little packets to find the right exact parts thing that we need. And it was just a lot. It was a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, just getting started, not really understanding the directions, how the directions work, because it is mostly just pictures, not explaining anything. That part was a steep, steep learning curve for us. It took us a really long time to get our first box complete, just because we weren't exactly sure what we were doing. So after we initially got the first box done, we kind of figured out what we were doing along the way, and it started being a little bit smoother of a process. Here's what, night one progress of assembly? Pretty good for three hours of work. All right, day two progress. Look at that beauty. Still needs more L brackets. I also am gonna work on making these level. We just attached them, stuck them in. They are definitely not level, but look at this. Goes all the way out and it soft closes. I love it. So that's what each corner is gonna look like. We've got the shelf pieces that we can put back here, patch up everything. You can see we still need to patch up everything and then attach the little rail piece to this side and have a small rail here for longer things. And then same on this side, it's the exact same thing, just mirrored. We do have an outlet down here. So we're gonna contact an electrician that somebody had recommended and move it up here and have a little charging station up here. And then we just need to do the set of shelving right here. So this is what demo house looks like. We've got tons of stuff still everywhere. Shop vac here. We also have tiny vac. We've got shelving, cardboard, the zip tie things, just everywhere. So that's gonna be the little drawer unit. More cardboard, more trash, more cardboard. And it keeps going. We're gonna have cardboard forever. More cardboard, more cardboard. And this is the chaos. There are the drawers that are gonna go on the other side. More chaos. That's stuff that will go back in the closet. And so we live in a disaster zone right now, but we're making progress. We are knee deep into day three. This is the drawer unit that's going to go here. I ended up, we marked off where we're gonna have to cut this piece. We're gonna cut it and it'll be flush. We'll just caulk around and make it look decent. So these ended up having to come off because it came out like an inch. Also, I have injuries. I ended up bashing my thumbs when I was hammering the back, like hammering up towards the shelves. I ended up hitting my knuckles on the bottom of the wood <laughs> and it was not good. So that was painful. Um, and then we had our first drywall mess up. I did that. So I don't know if we're gonna have to patch that or we can just do a big speckle job right there. It's gonna be behind drawers so nobody will see it, but I definitely don't want it to be, you know, like open and loose like that. But other than that, we've been okay not actually damaging the drywall. I was using the crowbar buddy and just I don't know, pressed too hard and messed up the stuff. So I was just working on scraping off some of this caulk. Some of it was like really, really thick. That's a thinner thing, but look, like look how much caulk they used in all of these things. It's just so much. So we scored around all the edges and then I was able to crowbar and hammer off all of the bigger pieces. Now we're just ready to cut. And once we cut these, it should be pretty easy to wiggle these cut pieces off. And then we can uh, move this guy into place. You can see, I picked up the big chunks, but we haven't used the shop back yet. So that's how high the shelf will go. And it's got a cute little topper, so it makes it look, you know, built in, because this is what the edge looks like right now. It's a really rough edge, squeezing past. Um, and we moved everything into here. The whole house is chaos, but here's the topper. That'll go on the top and it like has a nice finished edge. And this is what all the labels look like. They're not super helpful. <laughs> stuff everywhere. The kids were in here helping while we were working on this before we did the demolishing stuff, just while we were doing the, the easy stuff where we weren't making a mess. They were in here helping. We've had issues with the drawers. Um, I don't know. That one is just 
we're trying to like line them up perfectly and which one's loosey goosey this one this drawer front they're done in a horrible way <laughs> and uh, we messed one up again so we have to replace the little um insert things saw max is coming out he's making his edge But yeah, we're talking like hours and hours and hours building this closet. This has been a huge, huge labor of love and we're not even done yet. So it was just a lot. So backing up a little bit, when you are doing the closet system, you can have one that fully hangs from the wall and doesn't touch the floor. So you don't have to worry about baseboards or leveling it against the floor. Or you can have one that goes all the way down to the floor. And if that's the case, you have to worry about your baseboards and you have two options for that. You can trim the back of each shelf that touches the floor you could just like cut a little section and fit it around your trim or you could take the trim off and put everything flush against the wall and not have to worry about cutting into your new closet system and that's what we opted for we ended up ripping up all the baseboards we wanted to replace them with a different baseboard anyway so this is a really good opportunity for us to learn how to do the baseboards johnny's ended up buying all the tools that we need along the way that's just actually like getting it installed and measured and buying the exact baseboards we want. So that's part of this project that is not yet complete. We're still waiting on one side of our shelf to be done. The measurement was a little bit off, so we're waiting for that to be done and then we can do all the baseboards at the same time. But if you don't wanna replace your baseboards, they definitely have two other options that you can use and you don't have to touch your baseboards at all. So it ended up taking us about three evenings and part of days to get the full main section done, the main boxes, the main drawers in. We ended up having 24 drawers in the closet. So that is 24 times you have to add sliders and level the sliders. That's 24 times you have to add sliders to the box itself, put them in, do the handles, do the front plates, and make sure that they're all even. So that part was a major process. We are still in the middle of that because some of our face plates came damaged. We're getting replacements for those. So you'll see in the clips where some of the face plates are missing and you just see the boxes in the spots. Three hours the first day, three hours a different day. One day we were in there basically all day. The kids kind of did their own thing. They had lots of screen time that day, lots of independent time that day. Like our meals were super easy that day. Basically whatever the kids wanted for snacks that day, they could have the snacks. And Johnny and I just went to town trying to get this closet done. We ended up spending like eight hours that day doing the closet. We did all of nap time. And then after bedtime, we ended up working until like 2 a.m. That was either a Saturday or a Sunday, but we ended up knocking most of the closet out that day. And we're to the point now that we can put stuff in. Now we're just waiting for the last couple of pieces. Then we can finalize all of the easy closet portion of the closet. We still have a couple of shelves we need to cut and put in. We still have baseboards we need to put in. We still have to put the clothing racks back into the section that was existing. It's just kind of a mess, kind of chaos right now, but we have the main workings, the main bones of the closet done at this point. I'm gonna insert some clips and show you guys how it looks currently, like in this exact state. It's still a mess, but it is almost there. We're getting really close. All right, this is day three. <laughs> the end it is coming up on 2 a.m. We worked on this most of the day. Just any waking kid-free second we could work on this, we did. And, uh, we got far. A lot of these drawer faces were damaged, so we're gonna have to exchange those. We basically got as far as we could get without them exchanging parts, sending us replacement parts, and that sort of thing. So we are at a standstill now with the closet. So we've gotta get replacements of those, a replacement bar across the bottom there. And then the hamper was the wrong kind of hamper. It's got the little hook connectors to pull out the hamper, and it was the wrong stuff so I need to get replacement stuff for that. I also um, made these level. These are all on the same level now which I think looks way better. These ones had been designed to go up one and I didn't realize it when we were putting it together. I meant to make them all straight. I just had trouble doing that in the design program and then forgot when we were putting everything together. So we've got to line these up because they are not straight and we need an electrician because there's a plug there. We are going to raise it up there. And then over on this side, I did the same thing, made this level all the way across. And again, we've got to make the drawers all straight and uh, add a toe kick for that one. But this ended up looking really, really nice. I like how this looks. And of course we'll caulk and patch and repair around everything. We ended up getting it 
fit it together, cutting it, fitting it. I like the tabletop makes it look more like a built-in dresser, like it's supposed to be there. And we'll add some trim to the bottom to hopefully make it look more like it's supposed to be there. But I like how that looks. So Livy actually had a play date while Stella was napping. So we tag team today and Johnny surprised me. He ended up getting all of these straightened and aligned and they look fantastic. They look nice and straight and beautiful. So I'm gonna start loading these up with some clothes. I ended up hanging up all the rest of our clothes because we're at a standstill now. We need to get some more parts delivered. We are gonna work on baseboards, but we can't do the ones over here because these are actually um, not the correct size width. They're a little bit off. So that one needs to be all completely redone basically. So we won't be able to do the baseboards over on this side. And then the bottom two drawer fronts need to be replaced, but he lined up all the rest of them and they look really good. I'm surprised he got it done. I thought that it was gonna be a more challenging job than it was. So this one is the one that's the skinnier side. It's three eighths of an inch skinnier. So when we were putting everything together, things weren't fitting, things were wobbly. The bottom drawers were not fitting together. Or actually they were fitting together, they were just too tight. Like they weren't coming out and in very well. And when we were redoing everything, we found which shelves were which, and um, he ended up busting the one that it was supposed to go on the bottom here. So we're missing that piece. We can't put the toe kick on until that gets done. And then this is the bin that I got to put in my like, yucky sweaty fitness clothes. I could like hang them on the edge while they're, you know, super sweaty and then shove them in. Um, and I had originally wanted this on the other side, but it actually won't fit over there because of the three eighths or no, three sixteenths of an inch. And then the hamper that goes down here, they sent the wrong one. You can see like our house is completely covered in stuff. <laughs> um, so this was one of the boxes that was all dinged up like the whole front of the box was ripped like there you go um so this one needs to be replaced it's all dinged and there's a scratch along somewhere as well but the basket i wanted it to be a wire basket like the other one and it ended up being this like mesh one that you like hook into it and i don't like it at all i want it to be a metal bin just like the bin in here that matches there's like tools everywhere <laughs> i want it to be you know, looking like this, you just pull it out. I'm super happy with where it's going and how it's going to turn out. I can see the final picture in my mind and I'm just so, so excited about it. It was a huge labor of love. And there was one day in it where I don't know, we had been working on the closet just basically nonstop for days. It's like every free moment we were dedicating to this. And I had a breakdown. I was like, I don't know why we did this. <laughs> I like had major regrets. I was like, this is so much work and it's so hard. I don't know what I'm doing because I had like messed up one section of it and had to redo something and it was annoying. And I had a really like breakdown moment where I was like, this was a really bad idea. But then we overcame that and I'm again like super ecstatic that we did this and we're getting it done and it just it already looks so much better it's so much more functional already you can see the benefit and I can see the end game the end result in the horizon so I'm super stoked about it and that's pretty much it so I really hope you guys liked this first look at the closet I will have part two for you guys as soon as we get the replacement parts and we can get everything squared away and finalized it's just it's a process guys. It may be a couple of weeks until we finish everything. And it really, it's really gonna depend on how fast they can get stuff shipped to us because we still need some parts. So that is it for today. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you're excited about makeovers and organization stuff. I'm so excited to finally get this started. I did the pantry and we'll do like, we're gonna take out the pantry one day, but for now, this is like our first renovation big project and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I'm so excited to get the closet organized. It's so fun to see like the befores and afters for these kind of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're well and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.